What's going on guys? You're watching Ninja Lifestyle Tampa Pro 2016. They did it again. More issues with Street League judging. The contest was great, fun to watch. I definitely recommend you guys watch it, whether it be on skateparkatampa.com or streetleague.com or YouTube, whatever it is. Great contest, fun to watch. I watched a little bit of day two qualifiers and I just watched the finals. Fun watch, but again, issues with judging. My number one main issue was this. Go back and watch the footage. Cody McIntyre, it is a tragedy what happened to him. He killed it on his second run. Every trick, flawless. Style, perfect. Tricks, bangers. Everything landed on bolts. And for some reason, I would say this. He for sure deserved to be top four after a perfect run. He did some great tricks. I guess it's not really... It's not going to really make sense to you unless you watch it. But go back, find a way to watch it, and let me know if I'm wrong in the comments below. It was so blatantly obvious how bad the judging was. I'm just curious, Cody, what did you do to the judges, okay? Did you fuck somebody's bitch? Because one of them had it out for you. It was probably like one judge was like 88, the other judge 87, and then the, the third fucking retard judge was probably like 26, he fucked my bitch. It was so bad that the crowd booed and they didn't boo at all during any other part of the contest the crowd booed up until halfway through the next skateboarders run and there's always this sort of argument for well you know what with a sport as subjective as skateboarding there's gonna be a few hiccups in scoring and i agree but this wasn't a hiccup this was a a a, a murder okay it was, it was just fucked up, and, you know, it's just a sad thing to see happen because the guy skated his fucking ass off. Everyone skated well. I'm not going to say that, you know, this person didn't deserve to be, you know, whatever place they got, but the scoring for that particular run was fucked up. Please go back and watch it. Tell me I'm wrong, because you can't. It's fact, okay? This is no longer opinion. I will give you guys my second issue with Street League judging, and... Tampa judging now is uh, a little more arguable. This guy, Carlos Ribeiro, he uh, killed it in his first run, and that was the score to beat for the entire uh, three runs. So no one was able to beat it. And along comes Shane O'Neill, blows his first run, blows his second run. He got the golden ticket in qualifiers, so he has the final run of the day. Ooh! It's dramatic, the final run of the day. Is he going to be able to, to perform a, a sweeping, come from behind, from ninth place to first place victory? Can he do it? Well, he did. Shane O'Neill won, but I don't know, personally, if the tricks he did and the cleanliness of which he landed said tricks deserved first place. Um, flawless run versus run with a few hiccups. I don't know. And my issue is this. I don't think contests should be judged uh, based on epicness, okay? To me, an epic contest is not more interesting than a fair one. And maybe, maybe it is harder to be a judge than it is to sit here on YouTube and, and talk shit. But this guy, Carlos, Skated his fucking ass off too. He killed it. Landed some really crazy tricks. Uh, switch front blunt. Switch front salad 180. He, uh, what else did he do? He did the, the nollie 180. Nose grind 180. He did some cool stuff, right? Shane O'Neill's over here dragging his foot on every other goddamn trick. Um, but then again, it is Shane O'Neill. You kind of, you kind of maybe give extra bonus points for the name. And I'm not going to go conspiracy on y'all. But I will say that it does make sense that more people are going to visit the Tampa website, more people are going to watch the videos, more people are going to want to cover the event if the name Shane O'Neill is on the headline versus Carlos Ribeiro. Um, maybe I'm going too far saying that, but it is true. Okay, I don't... In a perfect world, I like to think that the, the judges would never have that in mind. Like, oh shit, if we, if we put this guy's name on there, uh, we're more likely to... Uh, 
to generate more interest and revenue? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I am a little uh, reaching as far as that goes, but it's debatable. I want you guys to watch the contest and let me know. The Cody McIntyre thing is not fucking debatable at all. The guy got ripped off. I'm not saying he deserved to win, but that second run was judged horribly. And I'm sure there's going to be some faggot in the comments like, well, they had a whole contest, they judged 36 runs, and they only fucked up one? No, they didn't just fuck up one. Like, that's, <laughs> that's why you're a judge, to not fuck up. That's why they have, I hope, three judges, and you just combine scores, something like that. That's what I'm saying. Cody, if you're watching, whose bitch did you fuck? Because somebody's pissed off. One of these Tampa guys is pissed off. They got they got it out for you. So watch your back on the, the, the drive home, the flight home, whatever. Just be careful because somebody out there doesn't like you. And it's cool, though. He still managed to pull off, I think, either sixth or seventh or eighth. I don't know. I don't remember the final score. I mean, he didn't get any, any special awards. That should be an award. That should be an award. You know what? Official. Ninja lifestyle, person who was ripped off the worst this year, Cody McIntyre, our annual winner for this uh, Street League Series event. Good job. Let's, let's give it up for him. At least somebody's going to give him the, the credit he deserves. The contest was great. Again, I recommend you guys watch it. And I want to know your thoughts um, in reference to mine. Am I, am I going overboard? Am I exaggerating? Am I taking it too far? Absolutely not on the Cody Mac issue, but possibly on the Shane O'Neill issue. He did land... Some crazy tricks. Switch big flip front board. Maybe you give extra bonus points to tricks that you, you, you never see. But then again, do you give extra bonus points for dragging your entire fucking toe? Your whole torso drags across the ground and, and you're rewarded with a, with a brand new first place trophy for dragging your whole guy. His white shoes are fucking brown now. They're gray from how much dragging happened in run three. And I don't know. You know what, guys? Maybe I'm just a hater. Maybe I'm just a hater. Maybe I'm just a big fucking Carlos Ribeiro fan. I don't know shit about that guy, but I feel like he deserved to win. And that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you next time. Kuna Matata, bitches.